Colorado has seen thousands of women leave their jobs during the pandemic. They are leaving the workforce at a faster rate than men. Our new Sheroy starts us off tonight with a look at the economic ripple effect of what has happened in the last year. Our moms, dads, and caregivers are making tough choices to make life work during the pandemic. But when it comes to employment numbers, things are playing out differently for women. What we call a leaky pipeline is just leakier now. What Kristen Blessman with the Colorado Women's Chamber of Commerce is talking about is reflected in state data that shows that women are leaving the workforce faster than men. Ryan Gedney, a senior economist with the state, broke down the numbers for us. Male labor force increased by 9,900 in 2020. The female labor force uh, de decreased by 20,000. And th those are individuals. In general, exiting the workforce can include retiring, leaving to go back to school, or making a choice to leave a job. And these are significant drops. The state and Blessman says this time, the pandemic, including remote learning, is playing a big role. And many times, the decision based on things like pay and responsibilities at home falls on women. Pair that with the lack of childcare, your kid's not going to school, we don't really have a choice. What is the impact? on the family of the single mother. Industry composition also comes into play. During the Great Recession, industries like construction that's traditionally male dominated took a hit. This time around, the state said industries traditionally dominated by women, including hospitality, restaurants, certain segments of healthcare, as well as the education sector were really impacted. The unemployment percentage was slightly higher for women last year. Blessman is sounding the alarm this could impact economic recovery. Because you're losing that extra income, that extra earner in the household. He's worried about the present and day-to-day -day survival, women-led businesses, and the future. We need women in leadership roles. So child care centers that are a part of this issue has gone through its own set of challenges, right? They saw less kids being enrolled. There were budget issues, some closed and some reopened, adding to the pool of everything we were talking about. And one of the many reasons we actually started even looking into this is because when the governor had announced bumping up teachers in the vaccination priority group, you know, he talked about the importance for kids, about classroom safety, but he also talked about the number of women leaving the workforce because of a lack of child care. Now, of course, Kyle, on the flip end of that was a lot of concern from people who were 70 and older, those who were at a higher risk for COVID, worried about these priority groups and getting access to the vaccine because they're just trying to keep themselves as safe and healthy as possible. It's pretty clear that, that that economic consideration, especially for women in the workforce, was a big part of the decision. So obviously, Anusha, you got folks who were just like, out of the workforce entirely. But then I imagine you've got a bunch yeah. of other people that are not working uh, where they'd like or as much as they'd like. They've been scaled back a bit. Yeah, you know, the other thing we were hearing about, too, is that some people had to adjust their work hours because they were taking care of someone who was sick, maybe someone in their family. So when you look specifically at people working part time, had to scale back hours, would like to work more, that both men and women that added up to nearly 200,000 people last year, Kyle, that's double from the year before. Boy, that's a whole lot of our neighbors. All right. Anusha Roy, we've got you covered on uh, 9 News Weekend mornings on Saturday and Sunday. We'll see you next mm -hmm. week.